So in the last video, we set up a sidebar widget area. And in this video, we're going to do that again, only this time we're going to put it in the footer. We're going to set up a footer widget area. You see it over here. I've already got a few set up. And let's go ahead and get started. So I've gone into my theme and I've removed the code. So after I refresh this, there we go. It should go away. And don't worry, we're going to set that up. It's really easy. Let's get started. The first thing we'll want to do is make sure you have functions.php open. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to copy this code and use it again. However, we're going to put this in a function and we're going to hook it onto um, a WordPress function. And I'll show you what I mean by that. If you've been messing around with WordPress themes, uh, you may have seen this function, add action. And it's usually uh, shown before or followed by uh, a WordPress function that you created, a custom one. In our case, we want to call it bootstrap, let me zoom in a bit, blog, and this is kind of long, but widgets init. And in this add action function, you'll see two things. The first thing you'll see is an argument uh, identifying which WordPress uh, function you want to hook into. And then the second one would be the name of the um, function that you just created, bootstrap blog widgets in it. And the reason I'm doing this is so that I can organize uh, the widget area code a little better. It can get kind of messy and hard to keep uh, track of if we just paste in this same function over and over again without any good documentation. Let's good document your code. How about creates our widget areas? We'll just change that. And uh, name and ID values. I'll actually leave this here for a minute because I want to explain something that I kind of took out of the last video. So what we, we did was we created this uh, default sidebar and what we want to do is create a footer widget area. So I'm just going to copy it like that. Footer widgets. And instead of uh, using the arg, args variable and passing it through, I'm just going to cut this out and I'm going to pass it directly into there. I want to have confusing uh, variables with the same name over and over again. So as long as we keep these comments up here, we'll know which sidebar is which. There we go. So we have our default sidebar and our footer widgets. And what we want to do is make sure that uh, we change some of these values. Footer widgets, we'll leave that the same. And over here, footer widgets, oops. And in the description, we'll put, goodness, widgets in this area will appear in the footer. There we go. Let me save this. And that should be it. I've got my action set up and we've got our function created. Let's switch back and refresh. And you won't see anything. And oh, of course, we have to put it in our theme now. So much like we did in sidebar.php, we have to use the dynamic sidebar function. We'll just use that here for now. It's not gonna have the formatting and styling we need, but looks like I'll have to go over that in the next video. Oops. Remember, this is the ID of the sidebar you just created. Let me refresh. There we go. You'll see a very poorly formatted uh, widget area. And what we'll do in the next video, because I don't want to drag this on too long, is um, we'll add the proper classes. Also, we'll use uh, Sprint F to 
build our widgets based off the name and uh, ID values. Thanks for watching.